Hi folks, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Devanshi Sharma and this video is about a journey. A journey of a content writer. My personal journey. So I started writing at the age of 16 and much earlier to that but the first book Unimaginably True came out when I was in class 12th. However, the content writer's journey began much later. When I was studying in Miranda House, mm. I got a slight inclination towards writing. And you know, I used to participate in competitions, in interesting debates, etc. And when the campus placement for a content writing company came, I was excited to sit for it. I didn't really expect I'm going to be there. It was just for experience like most of us do, right? But luckily I got selected. The interview went very well and I started working as an instructional designer with a very good multinational company. From there on, I received a lot of experience in writing, in writing, in learning, in teaching, in training. And then after three, three and a half years of working as an instructional designer and a content lead later, I was promoted. So from there on, I kind of decided that let's explore new forms of writing. That is when I quitted my job and I started Mithas Services. Mithas Services, like you know, is a content writing firm. We deal in three major things, um, you know, content writing, publishing and mentorship. So in the content writing segment, we tried innovating with storytelling. My personal writing experience kind of added a lot to the content space. And that is how Mithas was born. The idea and the vision behind Mithas is that you can create a new world with words. So yes, a lot of you keep asking us about our journey. This was how, you know, my content writing journey happened. And you know what? You can have your own experiences. You can have your own journey. Remember three simple things. The first, listen to your mind and heart together. The second, always focus on a structured plan before quitting your job or leaving something. And third, it's not true to not have a plan B. It's all right to have a plan B in between, you know. Why not have an exit plan? It's practical to have that. Why not have something that you want to explore? Why not think of it? Don't over romanticize uh, freelancing or starting up. Think beyond that and stay practical. These are my learnings and I hope these will help you. Was traveling around, thought a perfect time to share this journey with you. I'll see you soon.